What's up guys, this is Vinge with another video, and before I begin, you know, I gotta apologize for my, uh, nappy hair. <laughs> it's late at night, you know. It's late at night, Thanksgiving has ended a few hours ago, and I'm still up late for some reason. I guess I couldn't really sleep, you know, so I'm doing this video that I've been wanting to put out because of the extra that I've been doing as of late. And so let's get into this. Man, I've been thinking about this for about two weeks, you know, I was confused, lost, did not know where I wanted to go and what I wanted to do, and all I know is this channel, man, has been behaving like strangely, very out of place, very confused. I mean, I'm losing subs almost every day, and that's not normal. And for a while now, you know, when I look at my analytics, it would always tell me that I'm in the red no matter what I did, and no matter what kind of pro positive progress I may have made. And it's never a good time for a streamer to see stuff like that on a consistent basis. So I had to ask myself, should I stick with it or start over? And I juggled with this idea many times. And I made a new channel and I directed people to it. But now after really giving it thought, you know, I want to try and do more with this busted channel of mine that you're watching this video on right now and see if I can make it work. Um, I would also like to apologize to those of you that I may have confused. I mean, I was sending you to all these different channels due to my level of uncertainty, which is not a good thing. You know, I, sh I don't want to send people on a wild goose chase. And I feel like my indecisiveness was the cause of that. So I sincerely apologize for that. And uh, and so this is what this video is all about. This identity crisis that I'm going through right now. And I want to share what my plan is moving forward. But before I do that, I want to talk about why streaming is so important to me. You know, I made a ton of content before I began streaming on this channel, but after my first year of streaming, I felt like streaming was more for me. Now, I'm saying for me because this is what I want, right? You know, I felt that streaming was more natural for me and my real personality. And my goal is to build a positive community where people of all ages can hang. And here is my opinion. I keep saying my and me a lot because I want people to get, not to get this confused because there's some people out here that's thinking that I'm trying to call everything that I'm saying a fact when it's not. This is my opinion. So for me, making trending videos is important. But trending videos doesn't always result in building a, tr a truly supportive community. And that's my opinion. And to give you some, give you a quick example. If you don't know about this, there was actually, there is actually reports out there of an, a 1 million subscriber channel that couldn't sell more than 20 t-shirts. Sounds pretty insane, doesn't it? How is that even possible? Someone with the numbers not selling more than 20 shirts? Simple answer is the creator did not build a community that truly cared about her and what she provided. You know, there were times as a streamer that led to countless distractions which deterred my attention towards my YouTube channel. You know, I would, it's like there'll be days I look at it, but then stuff happens and then I'm just totally like somewhere else, you know, going like due to a lack of time, feeling trapped, YouTube glitches, hurting my progress and internal struggles. And then the death of my last grandmother during the December of the last year and 
pretty much I just gave up video creation altogether. I was totally lost in the sauce and I had no direction and even when I tried to do something I would not see it through especially since I felt as though streaming was just the number one thing in my life in, in regards to content creation and pretty much it still is because I feel like for me streaming is going to help me achieve that goal and I feel like I have achieved that based on what I have accomplished and is still able to do after transitioning over to Twitch and so the thing about my YouTube channel I still want to keep my YouTube channel afloat because it's still something that I worked really hard on and it would be a shame for me to just let it go um, and it's still kind of a shame because I kind of did and I feel like due to that maybe that's the reason why I'm in this rut I don't know but I just finally realized that I'm missing something and I'm missing a focus and so what should I focus on you know I decided to that I'm going to focus on making videos that relate to what led to me building a community of people in the first place you know I think I plan to focus on whatever content wins the majority of the polls that I will be posting on all my social media so it's really a battle between Mario and Pokemon because those are the two series that I really focused heavy on heavily on and you know um, I've built my community on uh, around those things and it has been really successful and wonderful for me and so there's already one posted on Twitter later down the line this week probably tomorrow I don't know when but you'll know it when it's posted I'm going to post a poll on the my YouTube community tab and I'm also going to post a poll in the discord and so I'm no longer worried about whether these videos get widespread attention because I am just going to make videos of those games that helped me build a positive community the kind of community that I built when I first started streaming and you know the current community that I have on Twitch that I grew using you know Nintendo content because that's my thing um, I still plan to continue doing the reviews for right stuff since you know I love making those videos and they're fun to make I love fighting in anime games but honestly those games never gave me um, the group of people that really stuck around now there's a handful a very small handful of people that are still with me today but there's not that many of them um, and to give you further in, uh, detail in regards to that as an example to prove my point is the fact that I have before I began my streaming journey I decided to do fighting game content with Tekken 7 specifically and I did well in regards to that covering the news making a variety of um, Tekken 7 related material I did well with it but that never translated into anything positive because the people that were there they were only there for the game they was never there for me so at the end of the day you know it was a bust I even did a giveaway never saw that person that won the giveaway ever again <laughs> so there's your proof in the pudding pop right there <laughs> so I mean hey but if I was to do anything regarding anime or fighting game content I will more than likely post it on the secondary channel that I just made if I was to do something like that so that's the new plan um, I'm looking forward to making uh, more traditional Nintendo related videos on this channel the content that literally changed my mindset 
and I want to get that mindset back because I feel like there all of these things that happened to me just ruined my focus and I want to get that back so that maybe there'll be more of a possibility that I would do better with my YouTube if I just chip away at it yeah that's all i wanted to say so uh thank you guys for watching this video and i look forward to seeing you whether it's going on youtube or whether it's on twitch link to my twitch will be in the description section below if you want to stop by and say hi and chill with me in the community and if you want to pay me a visit on youtube you know what to do hit that subscription button hit that like button and I look forward to seeing you guys wherever I see you. Thank you so much for your support. And you guys have an incredible holiday.